Today we're gonna find out what's inside of a soccer ball. Make sure to keep watching because this is the only soccer ball in the whole world with a surprise hiding inside. Hobby Science Lab. Are you ready, Hobby Pig? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's on backwards. Come on, let's do this. Let's see what's inside the soccer ball. And I can't wait to see what the surprise is going to be. Did you know that I'm wearing different socks? Different socks than what? Each one is a different one. The rubber bladder on this one is not as uh, thick as the other balls we both It's not as thick? Yeah, it's kind of weak in comparison. So yeah, look at this, the leather. I call it leather. Yeah. yeah. This, the, the ball, the rubber ball inside has like a chalk. Hmm, like a film. I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be a really tough ball, but it's very thin. You can almost rip it with your hands, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, the basketball and the other balls that we've looked inside of have a lot thicker rubber balls. But this one, I could hardly keep track of it while it's cutting because it's just ripping really easily. Look at that, it's just a big rip. And all the toughness comes from what's around it. This is this is the, what makes a soccer ball a soccer ball. Yeah. It's this really tough exterior. It's like a fabric foam. And because it has so many small pieces sewn into it, it could take a lot of damage from the heat kicking it. It's okay to have this flimsy little rubber ball on the inside because of the tough exterior. Looks like they do use some glue to keep it in place, but not much. This is material. It's like a canvas, and this looks like a foam. This on the outside, it's like a shiny vinyl exterior. Smells like a booger. Oh, I have one in here, that's fine. Smells like a new shoe. New shoes. I like your soccer shoes. I mean, cleats. Thank you. What? Soccer is played by 250 million players in over 200 nations, making it the world's most popular sport. The goalkeepers are the only players allowed to touch the ball with their hands or arms while in play and only in their penalty area. Outfield players mostly use their feet to strike or pass the ball, but may also use their head or torso to do so instead. Hey look, it's a soccer mom! According to Livestrong.com, there is evidence that people living in China might have played a game similar to soccer more than 2,000 years ago. However, modern soccer traces its origins back to medieval England. Nice hat and goggles. Soccer first appeared in the Olympic Games in 1908. A soccer ball has 32 panels, 20 which are hexagons and 12 of which are pentagons. The soccer ball first got its famous black and white markings for the 1970 World Cup in Mexico. According to the Adidas website, this ball was called the Telstar and was developed to help people see the ball more clearly while watching it on TV. Televisions in 1970 were mostly black and white and a ball without markings could be difficult to identify. This is the only soccer ball with a surprise hiding inside. You guys ready to see? Hey, it is a Funko Little Island Guy. That's what we call it. That's not what it's really called. It's a Funko Pocket God vinyl figure. I mean, a mystery. You know which one we've never gotten? And which one I always wanted to get? The electric one. I want the guy who's electric. Yeah. I kind of want this guy. What's inside a blind box? Hobby Dad style. That's how I open all of my blind boxes. <laughs> Kids never try this at home. Oh, wow, thank you. Yes! <laughs> That's <laughs> cute! What does he sound like? I don't know! Go for now, go get a job! That's what he would say. I need more fiber of my time. What do you mean you don't take senior citizen discount? <laughs> more hobby science learning. Subscribe if you want more hobby science learning. Ooh, I like your haircut. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. It's soccer-tastic. Yep. Hobby Science Lab.